Hey, welcome to NLC Live. My name is Nate, and I'm really excited to share today's Devo with you. It's from Psalm 73, and it's verse 26. It says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. What does that mean? That means, uh, you know, you and I, we all know what it feels like to fail. Uh, we, we fail tests, goals, projects, relationships. We've all been there. But have you ever noticed that babies have to learn everything about everything by failing? I have four little kids, so I see this every day. Like We come into this world not knowing how to sleep, eat, walk, talk, hate cats, love Razorback football, like whatever. Those are all acquired skills, and we have to learn them by trial and error. One time, I was playing in a high school basketball game, and it was my job as a defender to guard this dude who was a lot taller than me. I had one job. Stand still, don't foul. Guess what? <laughs> yeah, I fouled him because I didn't want to stand still. I wanted to do something. And sometimes what you and I decide to do won't be enough. And at other times, what we decide not to do won't be the right call either. Because our flesh and our heart may fail. It probably will. Like maybe even today. Super encouraging, isn't it? But you know what? Actually, that is encouraging because real strength doesn't depend on you or I getting it right. Um, real strength depends on you getting it to God. God is the strength of my heart. That's what the psalmist said. In one translation, it says, the rock of my heart, which means like at our lowest moments when we're overwhelmed, when we're stressed out, when grace seems and feels the furthest away, God will sustain you. He will anchor you. You can stand on that and you can trust in him. In other words, God is unshakable even when our life is really shaky. And that's a big promise right there for you and me. Because God gives us his strength. And I don't know about you, but I like my life like I like my coffee. Strong. And God gives us his. And even though we all know what it feels like to fail, God wants us to learn what it's like to bring that failure to him. Not because he's ready to throttle you for some mistake, but because he looks at you through the eyes of a really loving dad. And God doesn't look at you and see a problem to be solved. He doesn't see some project to manage or some failure to fix. God sees a son or a daughter to be rescued. And when failure happens, man, you just give that to God. It's like the best trade ever because he swaps my mistakes and my weaknesses for what? For his strength. And in return, God becomes my portion forever. So, so what is that like? The biggest piece of pizza, or the most mashed potatoes, what are we talking about here? No, this is language of inheritance. Portion is answering this question, like what's coming to you? Or in other words, what's coming your way? Because we all fail, and failure in and of itself doesn't have any value. But when we learn from it, we grow. And even better, when we take our failure to God, man, we lean in and we learn to live on God's strength for us. He is the strength of my heart. Now, what could we receive from God that's bigger than his love? Like, what could be stronger than his grace? It's yours, given to you, and nothing can take that away from you. It's yours forever. You can't spend it all. It doesn't run out. That's your portion. So what do we do with that? Well, first of all, stop beating yourself up for your mistakes. Like, God is more interested in the potential that you have in him you're bigger than your bad days when he is the strength of your heart. And second of all, you know, you just ask him where you've dropped the ball. You probably already know. If you don't, uh, you just look for that place deep inside that seems like missed potential because you missed what he wanted for you. And third and finally, we just give it back to him and we declare, God, I'm sorry, I'm going to give this to you right now. So actually, let's do that. Let's pray. God, thank you for letting us get into this verse and to learn that you are our strength, that you are our portion, that we can rely on you and that, man, you make up all the difference for our weaknesses. We're so thankful for that, God. I pray you would help everybody who needs this 
In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you for hanging out for NLC Live today. I hope it's a great one. Live strong. Thank you.